24-7, 365. This is E-Radio Live. It is Friday the 19th of March and you're listening to Plugged In with your host, Samantha DeBrain. And as I mentioned last week, I am broadcasting from the mother city of South Africa, Cape Town. And this is specifically for our international listeners. So thank you for tuning in today. I have a very different and exciting show planned. And I am broadcasting from the Shen FM studios here in Seapoint in Cape Town. And I have the phenomenally talented musician here with me. And it's actually the first time being in studio with the artist that I am going to be speaking about. So I am going to pull him straight into the conversation right now. And that is Shen FM himself. And this is an artist that I have known for eight years or so. And I've seen him go from being in a band into creating a one man show which is something that you have never seen before I was actually just chatting to Shen about him being the only artist that I have ever seen here in South Africa deliver a performance that is multifaceted and on that note I have named the show today the multifaceted musician Shen FM Welcome to the show. Hello, thanks so much for having me, Sam. Man, Thank you so much. It this is, is this is cool. This is exciting. It, it is so exciting. It's it it really is so cool to be sitting here and chatting to you, having you right next to me instead of it being over like over a Zoom call. Over a Zoom call, which is normally how I have to do it, obviously because of COVID and the distance in between me and and all the other artists that I've had on my show. As I mentioned, we've had publishing production, songwriting, you, you know, the elements of live music. And you truly are the amalgamation of all of those put together. And as I mentioned earlier to you as well, is I am constantly learning from you and everything that you are delivering. I was speaking to one of my other artists, Bradley Knight, about you before the show today. And it's how you are constantly staying ahead of the curve of this music industry. You are bringing your international influences and everything that you have learned from traveling ab abroad and your own networking and pulling it into your live performances and production that is honestly next level. Thank you so much, Sam. You know, I... I should be paying you for this. This that's that's made. Could you just come to every gig and just <laughs> and just like open up for me cuz I feel like a million bucks right now. Thank you so much. No, it is definitely important. I think one of the thing things I I quickly learned after finishing a degree in in music at the jazz school that, at the University of Cape Town was that they taught you how to play a mean guitar um but um not really anything else, to be honest, like not how to actually, well, obviously to read music and write music and compose and all that stuff. But when it came to the business of music, getting gigs, staying ahead of the game, knowing about trends, what, when to play, how to play, that uh, was definitely missing. I had to learn that the hard way. And uh, I think definitely traveling annually abroad has and seeing other musicians and seeing what, what the world's getting up to um, has definitely helped me keep up with uh, this industry's um, difficult times, you know? Absolutely. And before we get on to that, I want to chat about your travels abroad because you have connection to some blue royal blood, do oh, you? Oh, yes, the Swedish royal family. Yes. I mean, w when I first saw your post about it, I was like, hold on, I know that guy. And he is standing there with the Queen of Sweden. Yes, Queen Sylvia, Her Majesty Queen Sylvia. Her Majesty. That's how one has to say it. Yes, yes Her, Her Majesty. Majesty. I've had to learn a lot of these things. Yes, uh, Her to... Majesty Queen Sylvia. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, so so I'm, I'm the South African ambassador for the World's Children's Prize Foundation, which is a Swedish-based child's rights organization that's global in almost every country in the world. Wow. And they, and they help... Um, there's a they they help teach. There's a curriculum that that we give to children in 
underprivileged, not underprivileged, previously disadvantaged schools in South Africa. And, um, and we teach them about child's rights, especially abuse against girls. Wow. So that's been really eye-opening. And to me, I've been in that, doing it for the last eight years. And um, going into prisons, talking to gangsters about treating girls right, you know. And it's been quite eye-opening. And once a year, we go to Sweden. I take 10 kids, normally from the township Kajalicja. What an incredible opportunity for these girls and, and, and children to travel to a country where they never would have been able to travel to It's quite before. something, I'll tell you, Sam, quite something. You should see them on the, and I'll, I'll give you a link to a video that our, our listeners can watch about it. But uh, it's amazing just seeing like a 12-year-old kid or a 15-year-old kid in, in, in an airplane for the first time. They're like, what? Shane, what, what? I don't understand. Are you, are you saying we can just push this button and we can ask for anything and they'll bring it to us for free i'm like yes no this is emirates you can't you know you can have a a coke whenever you want you can have they're like no you're lying (laughs) never mind that to to actually going to sweden and meeting people like um, malala yusufzai the 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 nobel peace prize winner and and then of course her majesty queen sylvia and sometimes the princess sophia and and i mean it just changes their world if we like goals Every young girl's dream is to be this have princess. A picture, have a picture with the princess at but, least. But, but you know what, like, I mean, I remember growing up with my younger sister. We would always get these, like, little princess dresses. Yes. Or we would dress up in some of my mom's dresses that mm. we thought, you know, she looked like this queen. And then to be able to actually meet a real life princess and queen almost will completely elevate the way that they see themselves. Yes, they do. You, you should see the, the way they actually walk is different after our two oh, weeks in Sweden. Wow. Literally, you know, they, they're coming from these, and for those of you abroad who don't know, they're coming from these, like, corrugated iron roof shacks that are maybe, like, one and a half meters by two meters. Um, and no running water. No running water, no facilities, uh, blue, um, bathroom facilities, and... Um, and then they, like they just go just dire to, conditions. So sad and poverty stricken. And, and then next thing you know, they're in a castle shaking hands and, and performing for these international delegates and uh, being be, feeling very important and being very important as they should feel. Absolutely. And I don't think it's about me musically teaching them how to perform and doing this whole thing. It's actually um, improving their self-esteem so that they I, I see it as like a... A palette of colors that a painter would paint, say they a picture of how they see themselves in the future. Absolutely, these, it's some, hope. some of these girls they just have two colors, black or yeah. white. And then after Sweden, they're like, hold on, actually, wow, there's there's some more colors Absolutely. involved in this painting. That Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it becomes vibrant. You, you their lives, bec- uh, their, their lives become so much more vibrant and. Thank you for mm. for doing what you do. Honestly, it's never mind it's the beautiful. funding we can get. Um, one of one of them is in Berkeley now, and the other two are in Stellenbosch University. And so you know, we we have some wins along so the way. So it's not just a thing it's of not just one outing. No, it's not just a thing of them meeting royal family. It's that you actually give them hope and a life mm. afterwards, and mm. that is incredible. What you do is. Is, is, is heartwarming and from me and everyone else listening thank you for, for doing what you do and what a pleasure what a it, pleasure it really is it's it's an honor for you as well and I'm sure it mm. it does change it does, my life it, it's like I, I was going to say it was gonna, it's going to change the way you see everything yes. and, and also change the way that I've actually approached music um, there's more Africanism um, detail in, in my original productions also now working with these kids and everything and on that subject, you have a upcoming album to mm. which is so fresh you haven't even titled it yet. No. Nope. So right here on Plugged In on E Radio, Shen FM is giving us an exclusive of one of his original tracks, which we are going to play right now. And that is going to be you choose. Is it going to be because or going great? Going crazy. Let's try uh, because, because specifically because um, I wrote the song for a guy called Kimmy Weeks, 
And uh, he was fleeing from Liberia at the time. And uh, Charles Taylor wanted to kill him. Uh, he had an assassination, a couple of attempts on his uh, on his life. And I met him with, with the Queen in Sweden a couple of years ago. Oh, wow. And he's freed tens of thousands of child soldiers. Um, and he he's really a, a big influence um, in my life. So, so this is a song I wrote for him. Please enjoy. It's called Because on my upcoming up. And that was Shen FM featuring Mapumba with their track, Because. I have Shen in studio with me right here at the Shen FM studios broadcasting here in Cape Town. And Shen, I want to find out from you what led to you having traditional African Influence. elements in your music. You know, I, Sam, I was... Uh I, I grew up in Limpopo in, in kind of like an African village called Mbokota near Venda. I actually did not know that. You never knew that. We've been friends for eight years and I've actually <laughs> never told you this story. You, you have never told me that. Interesting. So my parents, I was born in Cape Town and I've, after like being here for about two, three months, um, my parents had to flee from the government. They had to run from the police. Wow. Okay. My um, my dad was part of the 
African National Congress, the ANC, he was part of the underground armed wing of it, uh, called him Kontwe Sizwe. And um, so they were fighting for the rights of uh, African people, you know, fighting for democracy. And uh, the white regime didn't like that. So there was, there was a hit out on my dad's head, much like Kimmy Weeks. So I can understand now why you would have been inspired by... By that story, and yes, for ma'am. you to very much so. Wow. Okay, it actually, all is coming it's together making now. Making sense now. It's all coming together. I've always wondered, like you've you've been so involved in these this, these traditional sounds, these traditional African sounds, mm. into your music mm. and, and now, social development. Abs- and stuff. Absolutely, mm. and and why it's actually so close to your heart, and now it makes sense. I mean, <laughs> <Yes>. we've always, <laughs> I mean, we've we've always chatted all things music. I suppose we we just get so engrossed in this industry. <laughs> it's funny because I don't I don't actually tell the story much. It's it's only when people ask. I don't really. Absolutely. Well, I don't, I, I don't publicize I've, it. I've now learned something about you, and that is so mm. special. And mm. now I love you even more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we so we we grew up in safe houses um, in the north of Joburg and Limpopo, and um, when I was seven, they found they actually found my mom. They bashed down the door and they dragged her to prison, and she spent a couple of months in solitary confinement. And my dad and I thought she was. Um, they killed her actually, because that's what kind of that usually happened with most of their comrades. They 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 are now dead. <laughs> so wow. So, we so finally, you expected the worst. So we are. We but we finally found her and got her out. Um, but I was always surrounded by African people. I was the only white person I knew my yeah. age growing up. Really, so I kind of thought I was a little black kid. Like, yeah, you know, exactly. It's, it's like, exactly. I've got to, I've yeah. I always felt I have some Africanism in me. Um, and I really much grew up with the spirit of Ubuntu, and like the this whole the whole Beautiful. community would Absolutely. would help help us and help hide us when when the cops were around and stuff. So, uh, well, I've yeah. always I've always said that I mean that it really does. I mean, I I was chatting to Dan Patlansky about this, and it's it's you go back to the way children were first raised, and it takes a village, a literal village, to raise. A child. A, a child, and mm. that would have been like it's exactly so right. similar to what you would have experienced. Mm, definitely, definitely, yes. I've got pictures of of uh, being on the backs of African mamas around the around the Brian Millies and stuff. You know, that is amazing. I'd actually love to see some of those pictures. We'll have to get them out. Yes, yes, yes. absolutely. Mm. Yeah. So that my like. Having African influences in the music has, uh, has always been the goal, and I'm really proud to say for this album, I've really come, that's come together very nicely. Like this guy Mapumba, hasn't he got an amazing voice? In, I, I was going to say to you earlier that it, it reminds me of Baba Mal, but it's 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 got that that essence to it that it, that draws you in, right? It really yes, it draws yes. you to want to know. His story as well. Yes, no, it's it's, it's so rich. Soulful. It's rich, yeah, yeah. People have described him as being a with Tracy Chapman meets Salif Keita, with that deep that depth to his yes, voice. Absolutely. Yeah, he's a, a world music um, performer and recording artist um, that tr- blends traditional melodies and stories and languages. He's from the DRC, and uh, he lives. I'm um, happy. Um, I'm lucky enough to have him live down the road from me here in Seapoint. So that's great. Cape Town, South Africa, really has an insane amount of talented musicians, right? Mel- melting pot, definitely. It, it's unbelievable to the point where Seasons Farm venue and accommodation where I broadcast from most of the time. You all would have heard me speaking about it may just find me there less and less because being back in Cape Town has reignited the reason why I first lived here. And to be able to sit here with artists such as Shen FM and meet with some of my other artists, it, it really has given me a a new outlook on this industry, especially being back here during lockdown. Because the last time I was here was before lockdown happened and it's like coming to Cape Town and I'm having to wear a mask. It's, it's, it's a whole it's, new world. It's a whole new world. And the entire music industry here has changed and it, it excites me to find a new scope on it all, basically. 
But I started the show with calling you the multifaceted musician. And that is because I have never seen an artist do what Shen FM does. And he combines a live performance, which essentially you would think of a man or a lady or musician standing with his guitar, which is correct. But then he adds in his looping station and then he adds in a live DJ set and then adds in Ableton and produces at the same time as playing live. And it is this artistry of a performance and you get so dragged into it that when it ends, you're like, no, no, we need more. And I was actually at a show of Shen's on Saturday. Saturday wasn't it? Yes, yeah. where he was doing this exact performance and the crowd just went wild, of which I took videos of, you know, obviously the limited crowd because COVID. And I I'm so happy to announce that if you are in the Cape Town area, Shen performs at Tiger's Milk in Camps Bay every Saturday and Sunday from... Saturday is nighttime, 5 p.m. and Sunday is afternoon, 3 p.m. Amazing. Mm. And you can catch him there to experience what it is that I experience on Saturday and exactly why I book him for a multitude of shows because he is multidimensional, multifaceted, multi-talented. And this is also an artist. I love the way you multi-talk about me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and if there's any up and coming artists or even um, people aspiring to be in the music industry, or if you're already involved in the music industry, this is someone that you should be working with. He has guided me within the industry and, and educated me on so much, and he can do the same for you. And that is Shen FM Studios, ShenFM.com, right? Just, if you just go to ShenFM.com, yeah. the, the, all of the contact info is there. Yeah. Or Shen FM Instagram me, just uh, Shen FM, one word. Absolutely. DM me, then we can grow all together. Ooh, he is inviting you into his DMs. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you know, it's real. But I thought we're going to do something very different today. And it's something I haven't been able to do because I haven't been able to be in studio with an artist. Mm. And I'm so excited for each person listening today because you're going to experience something very rare. Shen is going to give us a demonstration on what he does during these live performances and how he actually takes a cover song and makes it their own and obviously here on plugged in that is what we are so passionate about is imparting knowledge and as we go through this process shen is going to explain exactly what it is that he does when he does these performances and educate anyone listening that is wanting to do something similar or know how something is done. This is a person to speak to and this is the show to listen to. So Shen, we are going to do a... A demo. A, 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 little, a, a little demo. Deconstructed uh, and tutorial. I'm, I'm actually not going to say what song it is as yet. Yes, good. We will let the listeners kind of see if they know what it is. Mm. And then we, we will basically just yeah. So I'll I'll, um, I'll show you how how I deconstruct the songs, remixes, and then put them back together. And then um, I think we'll we'll jump into a live recording of, of, on Saturday night. Um, I, I recorded yes. this song live, yes. so we'll we'll, we'll uh, press play on that. But before that, I'll just show you kind of my thinking. Um, so shall I go ahead? Absolutely, let's do it. All right. So I like I like mashing songs up that are very that you wouldn't think of mashing up before, and and also trying to change the genre and flip a song on its head, so that basically you have no idea what song it is when it starts off with. And if it does start off with a sample, it'll be of a completely different song and not what you expect. So um, I basically produce the remix in my studio. And um, I do the, the, the bass, the drums, like electronic drums, if need be. I pull in a vocal sample from another song. I change the tempo, uh, how fast, how slow it is, the genre. Maybe if it's a fast song, I'll make it a slow hip-hop beat. Or if it's a slow song, I'll make it a fast beat. Or bossa nova, Latin, jazz. Um, just anything that, that is different. 
dynamically because the more dynamic you stretch the remix the more interesting it is for the listener so um so let's take this some and then i then i export all of these different sounds and i put them onto this fancy machine that the listeners can't see right now but you can see in front of me sam it's um there's a whole bunch of buttons it's, and i'm using a uh, um I'm using Ableton, and this is called the APC40. And there's a matrix of eight by, by eight Looks buttons. Looks very complex. So each one of these buttons is a sample. So I don't just play the production like a backing track and, and sing and play guitar over it. I'm able to um, ma mash songs in and out of each other and take elements out. So let's say, for instance, here is, say, the vocal sample I'll start with. Let's see if it's good. And then this button will be the music. Take the reverb off. Maybe delay. Repeat. When I feel it's time, I'll add the kick drum. <laughs> this is unreal. Absolutely un unreal. Quite, lots of fun. Lots of fun. So I can play around with this, you know. And when it's time to sing, you guys still don't know what song it is, right? When it's time to sing, I can press the next one, take away the sample, and... I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind There's something so pleasant about that face Emotions out of that go so much space Yes! That gruff vocal! Yeah, so basically I have lots of fun with this and we're going to jump into a live recording from Saturday night, shall we? Absolutely. Okay, let this me, let is me, Crazy by Nas Barkley. Yes, we're going to play that. But let me just tell you what an unbelievable experience it is just to see it here in studio. And it is nothing compared to when you see it live and the energy that Shen holds. But yeah, let's listen to what was played on Saturday night. Crazy by Nas Barkley but a completely original Bashin FM. Get the E-Radio SA app right now for free on the Google Play Store. Entertainment radio on the go.
you have just tuned in, you are listening to Plugged In with your host, Samantha DeBrain. And that was a original version of Knowles Barkley's track, Crazy, done by the insanely talented Shen FM, who I am in studio with, his very own studios here in Seapoint, Cape Town. And we have been speaking about how you are able to incorporate all the elements of music being live production as well as DJing using Ableton and all the other elements that Shin uses. And it really is an experience to watch. Shin, you have an upcoming album which we chatted about earlier on in the show, of which still has no title, which we need to actually find. Maybe you guys can give me a title after listening to one or two of my songs. That's actually a great idea. Yeah. So get over onto our Facebook page, which is at Plugged In with Samantha Brain, or... Or at Shen FM. Or pop him a message on his website, shenfm.com. And let him know what you think this album should be titled. It really does have the most beautiful traditional African elements and inspiration behind the behind this. And I uh, I, I really want to actually play one of the other tracks, mm, mm, which yes. is titled "Going Crazy." And there's I actually, know there's actually 14 tracks on this album. Can you believe it? It's a it's a wow. It's a big one. It's a big wow. one. Wow. So it's difficult to choose, but I think "Going Crazy" is definitely um, applicable. Apt because yes. it's about the lockdown. Yes, it's something that I've come to know has actually almost. East here in South Africa compared to some of the other countries in the world. I know that we've got a lot of European listeners and we have actually been lucky to some of our lockdown regulations compared to a to lot like of... That, yeah. Wow. Mm. I, I was actually... I've got a friend in, in France who has become a huge fan of the show and he was just telling me how insane it is for me to be sitting in a coffee shop and... And be unbelievable, and I, uh, it's so sad because I know, I play um, annually at the Feta de la Musique uh, festival. Um, that just rolls off your tongue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In in um, in France, and I've I've had to cancel last year's and this year's one, unfortunately. That is such a pity. But if you're listening, let us know what you think this album should be titled, and we are now going to play one of. Your chosen singles, and it's yeah. going crazy. Going crazy, like everyone else in the world. Absolutely. And what is what, what are the elements that we're going to hear in terms of the production? You're going to hear some, definitely some like African cyclical rhythmical chants. Wow. Because because wow. I felt like that's exactly what it is like when you you know in in African tradition there's there's a there's there's a, a very much so a tradition of walking especially with the old migrant labor labor workers back in the the apartheid times where they would walk long distances they didn't have enough money for bus fare and stuff yes and they would use they would use that chanting a chanting as as a, a vehicle to make motivate. them work longer distances and motivate yeah. them to walk. And it's in the Mashkanda tradition and Baklanga. And, and you'll hear all these cyclical patterns in my guitar work. Like in the last song, there's four four cyclical guitar patterns that, that I learned in in, Sen when, in my times on in Senegal. That um, So I love introducing these wow, things. Wow, you really are a world traveler, Shin. Ah, yes, I've, so, and, so lucky, and so lucky. It's, it's insane how you have incorporated... These elements into your music. Mm. It's you, you've, mm. you're the sponge that absorbs these inspirations from all over the world. Yet being so true to who you are as an artist, holding like hold, holding this beautiful tone in your voice and that gruffness that I've always been the biggest fan of. Yes, I, I love the way you say that. Thank you. Um, I think it takes many years for a musician actually to do to really find out who he is musically. And uh, I think I finally come to a place that uh, that I'm I'm happy with the uh, what I'm putting out, and I, I do feel Absolutely. it really is me. You know, Absolutely. so I'm glad you feel that. You and that. it's it's a rare thing to happen hmm. to an artist because there's so many people that derive inspiration off 
another artist or another sound that they're trying to go towards. And since I have ever known you, you haven't done that. You've always taken a piece and made it your own. Yes, yes, definitely. definitely. And that's, uh, there's huge respect that goes into that because I also know that this is not something easy to do. There's a lot of work that happens in the back end of producing a track and the inspiration that is drawn from it. Mm. And I I know that it really isn't an easy thing for you to do. And you haven't gotten to this place of being this insanely talented artist, musician, producer without the hard work and experiences that you have gone through and life, Mm. life as well. Life has also molded you into the person and, um, Everything that that you are, and it's beautiful to see. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sam. Uh, so, yeah. So this this song actually is is you'll you'll hear it. it's kind of like singing from the point of view where what I found quite amazing with lockdown is that everyone who had money um, had maybe lots of money didn't feel the lockdown as much as the people in the townships and the the people who actually are going crazy because they don't have enough money for bread. Um, and you go crazy from hunger. And you can go crazy like you, you and but also there's there there was lots of looting and yes. violence and and then people <clears throat> I I meet people that came from the upper echelons of society and they would be like how ghastly is it that all of these people are, are turning over the food trucks and they're stealing and they're breaking into cars. And, and I, would, I would try, let, I, would, I would look at that and say, well, you would too if you had no money for bread. Like, they didn't have a choice. Um, and, maybe- and, 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 you know, money, it's not just for them, it's for their families. A lot of it is to support their families, their children. So the lockdown has affected the poor worst. So that's what this song is about. Okay. Shall we press play? That's it. This is Shin FM with Going Crazy, an original single of his upcoming album.
was Shen FM with one of his original tracks titled Going Crazy, inspired by the current situation of the world, particularly here in South Africa, and the effects of COVID-19, especially on the less privileged people of South Africa. We still in studio here at Shen FM Studios in Cape Town, and we have more live interactions with Shen FM, and he is going to show us a rendition of a track most of you would have heard, especially going out, which would have been pre-COVID, and when this track comes on, Everyone gets onto the dance floor, but this is a version that you never ever would have heard before. Shen, give us an idea as to what happens in the song mm. and well, your just, take on it. I was just looking at my screen here, and I, I thought maybe maybe I'll show you, say, like a way of going from one song into the other. Actually, so let's take let's take "No Scrubs" by TLC. Okay, let me see how this works here. So I've made this into more of a dancey track. I'll put in I'll pull in the beat now. Mm, these Friday feels. <laughs> So you guys know it. I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Hang on the passenger side, that's best for God. So, say so going from that into another song which you were talking about, Sam. Yes. I'll take a, a sample. What you do so flawlessly? I try my best. Abs- you, you don't even realize that you've gone into the next track. Yes. See what you're doing there. And then I'll maybe bring out the piece. the beat back in of the new one. <laughs> that groove! Very cool. This groove, this groove uh, uh, the idea came, comes from FKJ uh, from France and that, this is, he's the guy who really inspired me to do these kind of mashups. So, you know, this song, Shot Again. Down, good lord, baby got them open all over town. The street divisions don't play around. You go for much crowd, you got get by the town. Yeah, so anyway, so I've got a live recording of this that I also did the other night, Sam. So why don't we? Oh, trust me, we <laughs> we jammed on Saturday night. I obviously, as you know, here in Cape Town for Amy Chassing's wedding and we had her bachelorette party last week, Saturday, of which I had no idea Shen FM was going to be playing live at Tiger's Milk and Camp Space. And much to my surprise and excitement, I saw Shen there. And much to my excitement, there were 10 beautiful girls walking in. (laughs) And Amy honestly had the best time. Shen called Amy up to perform so both of them performed together which i'll actually upload the videos for you to see these two together and she actually pulled in on this song i think you at the actually end. you 100 percent right yes, she, she yes. did she didn't know all the lyrics so she just sang what she did and kind of you guys yes. like made up your your own lyrics to the song and you are right. I will upload the videos of this. And I am going to let you listen to the original Shen FM version of No Diggity. Oh, <laughs> 
original take of No Diggity, a song that most of you would already know. We have now come towards the end of yet another show of Plugged In with me, your host, Samantha DeBrain, here on E-Radio, broadcasting from the beautiful mother city known as Cape Town here in South Africa. And it has been an absolute pleasure being able to broadcast from the Shen FM studios in Seapoint with Shen himself. But before we end the show, Shen, what is... What is on the horizon for you? So I just want to say that thank you all of you listeners for also being in my studio with us right now. Absolutely. I feel the presence and uh, and thank you so for, with, uh, for all the love, for all the love, Sam. And uh, yeah, what's on the cards? What's coming up? Well, I'm mixing and mastering the album. What you heard is actually the unmixed and mastered version today. And no one else has heard it other than my mother, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a exclusive, ex- exclusive as well as a debut of Shen FM's brand new work. And the first if, time it's actually been aired publicly. And if this is the quality of your unmixed, unmastered tracks, anyone listening, wanting a track done, contact Shen FM and do it urgently. And I will be, if you want to drop me your email, I will be sending out the download link directly to you. So just remember, info at shenfm.com, S-H-E-N-F-M. Or just go to shenfm.com and you can just press that contact button or anywhere. You just type in shenfm, you drop me whatever kind of message you want. Send me mail, send me post. When else do you get post? Actually, I... (laughs) not gotten anything in the post for a long time other than traffic fines i was just about to say but i have moved quite a few times so i'm not quite sure where those fines are going to yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, how yeah. they're going to find me how cool would that be we should start pen paling people again right it, that's actually something you used to do you used to write the most yes. beautiful poems your secret poet i used to call it yes, yes. and it would just be my lyrics that i had an old typewriter here's the typewriter in the corner of my studio actually and i'd write these poems on 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 letters and just send them to random people <laughs> and I give them to people i didn't, you didn't doing even know that and but i mean that would have brought so many smiles to those faces Definitely and did, made yes. them feel loved yes yes and that is something that is a theme throughout Shen FM's music, love. Honestly, there's mm. so much love in you as an artist, as a human being, and as a friend. Thank and you, 
as well as a boyfriend because behind every great man stands an even greater lady. Yes. And, and that is and Miss Sam, Cassidy. And Sam has uh, has seen my house now and uh, she, was, she was like, what a difference. <laughs> and then looked at Cassidy and said, aha, I see the difference. I see why now. <laughs> and, it's and clean all of a sudden. She is the most gorgeous bombshell of a woman who really does keep you on your toes. But is got to, you got to. But she also is a bundle of fun and supports you like a great partner really should, especially in this industry during this time. And it's it's really so inspiring and beautiful we, to see that. We make a great team. And, uh, there, there's, and you have to. Between you and me, there's going to be some wedding bells soon. <gasps> Okay, so not only did we get an exclusive of Shen FM's upcoming album, we got an exclusive on his relationship status. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that is so exciting. Congratulations. Thank and you, Sam. And obviously, Sam from Plague Gen will be at this wedding to document this experience mm-hmm. as well. Definitely. Shen, I promise you, you can't see it right now, but I'm giving him the biggest hug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, darling. Um, thank, thank you, you so for much. being on my show today. I really do appreciate it. And from me and the listeners, thank you for blessing us with such beautiful music, music that, you know, we're following on from last week to make memories to. Yes. And this entire process is going to be so ingrained into my memory bank. And I just thank you for inviting me into your studio to broadcast today. What an honor. What a pleasure. Thank you for having me and thank you everyone for listening. So from me, your host, Samantha DeBrain, I pray that you have a blessed weekend. Keep safe and know you are loved.